Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're working on our gravy lawnmower today and in today's video, the B4 start checklist. All right, YouTubers outside in the garage now, and in front of us is our brand new Gravely Pro Turn ZX60, 60 meaning the size of the deck. And if you're joining us from the previous video where we walk through all of the parts of your mower and got you more familiar with the mower itself, glad to have you. If you have not checked that out, that link is scrolling above. It's very helpful. It talks about, again, all of the parts of your mower. However, in this video, we are going to perform the very important before start checklist. So with that said, right to our owner's manual. And here is the front page of the manual come to page 16 and we will start the B4 operating unit. Important, register your product. See, register your product on page one. That's important. Make sure your mower is registered for warranty purposes. And in most cases, if you bought it from a dealership, they will automatically register your mower as you are making the transaction there at the desk. So continuing on, step one, check fuel level and add fuel if needed. Very important. Never start your mower and begin a mowing project with anything less than full fuel. Always, always, always top your tank off prior to starting your engine. So with that said, as you can see here, we need more fuel. And as far as fuel, I recommend recreational fuel only, which is a non-ethanol fuel, and it does not gunk up any of your fuel lines or fuel filter or any other portions of your engine. And on top of that, the fuel can stay inside your tank for very long periods of time without degrading and becoming contaminated. And that's important when it comes time for short-term or long-term storage. For a winter, for example, in the event that you do not have recreational fuel and you just have regular gas and you forgot to add the winterization additive or stabilizer, guess what? Spring and summer are gonna come and you're going to start your engine or attempt to start your engine and it's not going to start. Or maybe it starts, but the engine will not run efficiently and properly. And that's because you've got contaminated fuel. So again, recreational fuel only. From here, I'll top the tank off. Making progress, tank is topped off. This is plastic thread. Just make sure you do not cross thread it. It'll damage it. Should go on there very smoothly. Have it pretty snug. However, don't over tighten it. And I have a completely separate gas can or jug for recreational fuel for the snowblower and lawnmower. Back to the manual. Step two, check engine oil level and add oil if needed. Refer to the engine manual. Let's go check the oil. Coming to the back side of the right portion of your lawnmower. Inside here, that yellow cap, that's your oil cap. Go ahead and twist it to the left and carefully pull this out. and tighten it back down. Back to the manual, step three, check condition of air cleaner. To the back side of the engine, this is a Kawasaki engine, four stroke. This is the most popular engine to get with a Gravely mower. And again, step three, we need to check the air cleaner or air filter, and yours may be a little different. However, ours is brand new, so we know it's clean, but over time, it gets dirty. And just by releasing these two latches, you can pull the cover off and believe it or not over time that gets very dirty and sometimes it gathers leaves and grass in there and you want all of that out of there to prevent any overheating of your engine or fire that would not be good once you verify that air cleaner or filter is clean go ahead and resecure the cap and lock the latches step four this is very important check function of the safety interlock system by performing the test in check safety interlock system on page 21. let's talk to page 21 and here it is Check safety interlock system. Check function of the safety interlock system by performing the test below. Contact your Gravely dealer for repair if any of the tests fail. So again, on the far left, you have the test, you've got the steering lever, you got the PTO, you got the parking brake, and you've got the results. So number one, you want the steering levers in neutral. You've got your steering levers, one on the right-hand side, one on the left-hand side, basically in the neutral position. And there will be a little play in neutral, which is nice. And to the right side, you wanna make sure that your key is in the off position, your choke is down, your thrust lever is in the turtle setting and your PTO button is pushed down. Take a look at this knob itself. You'll notice when the knob is pulled up, that activates the lower blades below your deck. And once you push the PTO button down, that stops the blades. That's very important prior to start. Make sure all of that is in the proper position as well as your parking brake is up securing and locking your mower in place prior to start. Number two, you wanna shift your forward neutral and reverse as well as turn your PTO on. And at this point, on or off, the engine does not start. Let's take a look. At this point, I'm sitting on the mower and I'm pulling these steering levers down and I'm going to pull the PTO up. And again, it should not start. See that? That is a safety check that is required prior to start. Push the PTO back down. 
And number three, forward neutral reverse on or off as far as the PTO and the parking brake off. And the result should be engine does not start. Back in the mower, lowering the steering levers and the parking brake all the way down. That means it is off. And from here, it doesn't matter if your PTO is up or down. As your manual said, from here, it should not start. Turn the key back to the off position, parking brake back on, and steering levers open. Back to the manual, and the remaining portion of this is with the engine on. Back to the before operating checklist, or before start checklist. We've already completed step four. On to step five, set cutting height. See figure 13. So you've got A, B, and C. A, push mower lift pedal forward until transport lock engages. I'll show you that here shortly. Insert adjustment pin, which is magnetic, which is really cool. I'll show you that. And push mower lift pedal slightly forward, as well as releasing the transport lock and slowly release pedal until it contacts adjustment pin and stops. And what I want to show you is the deck is in transport mode, meaning it is as high up off the ground as it possibly can be and that is to prevent any damage to your deck as well as the blades underneath the deck during transporting your machine so let's hop up on the mower and take a look at this pedal right here just by pushing it you will notice your deck moves you see the deck down there moving check that out and here's that knob I was talking about. And this whole section here with all these holes are height adjustments. And first thing you'll do to take it out of transport mode, you have a lever here. Go ahead and push the pedal forward and hold that forward tension. And once that pedal is pushed forward, it releases this little latch. And now you can slowly release the pedal and allow the deck to lower itself onto the ground in position in relation to the height. And to change your height, now that it is out of transport mode, push the pedal as far forward as you can, pull the knob out, again it's magnetic so it might stick a little, and pick your height. In the event that you want two inch, you'll put it in the two. However, we are going to leave it in the 3.25. Insert that in place. And from here, you'll notice my latch re-engage for transport mode. I can just carefully push the pedal forward release the latch, and slowly release the deck back down. And that is how you adjust the height of your deck and blades. Back to the manual, the next thing you need to do in the event that you have a commercial level mower, as we do, you need to position the ROPS, which if you look at page 13, in the previous video, we covered this entire pictorial image and all the parts. And number 15 is your rollover protection structure, also known as the ROPS, and that is this portion here. And again, in the event that you have a residential level mower, you may not have this roll bar or protection feature. However, the commercial grade mowers do. And for safety purposes, to prevent rollover, you will pop these pins out. You've got these safety clips here, one on each side. And once you pull those out, you can pull these knobs out, shift the roll bar up in place, re-secure these pins, and secure the locking clips on each side. We're not gonna do it in here because if we did it in here, well, chances are we would hit the top portion of our garage door. Well, that would not be cool. Back to the owner's manual and that basically ends the before start checklist steps. And again, very important steps that increase the safety of your machine as well as the life of the machine. The next thing we're gonna do is perform an engine start together. And we're not gonna cover that in this video. We will post a link above. So scrolling above right now is a link to a video that walks you through on how to start your mower. So definitely check that out. From here, YouTubers, do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That'll be awesome and very helpful to us. We hope the video helped and we'll see you at the next video.